We've all read about how people get sick from eating contaminated food or they touch an object and they get hospitalized over it. Well, it got me thinking, just how prevalent is this dirty, evil bacteria in our modern society? So we decided to go out on the town of San Jose and find out for ourselves. This episode of Scientific Tuesdays is brought to you by Squarespace. So we got 10 E. coli testing kits, so we're gonna test 10 items. A public drinking fountain, shopping cart, gym machine, porta potty seat, <laughs> uh, porta potty door, playground slide, ATM park bench, a phone booth, yes they exist, and a handrail. If you're wondering exactly how we're going to test all these individual items, well, first, we're gonna get a single one-time use sterile cotton swab, we're gonna bag them, then we're gonna bust them into our E. coli testing kits. Because we don't want to take up your entire day, we'll just show you our favorite sites that we went to. First up, the phone booth. Thinking about phone at home? Might want to call 911 instead. How about a park bench? Thinking about taking a break? Probably want to move on. Then we hit up a random porta potty at a construction site. I ain't touching this one with a 10 foot pole. We'll send in number two. He's gonna swab the seat and the door handle and hopefully survive. Yep. Finally, number two went and swiped the ATM. Next time you hit the ATM, you might be withdrawing a little bit more than cash. After dodging rent -a cops and bank employees, we made it home safely and look at our amazing collection. I want to particularly draw your attention to number four, porta potty toilet seat. I'm half excited and half terrified to find out what's going to happen when we culture this thing. Just a little bit of water is needed to activate the tests themselves, so we're going to be using purified water that's pathogen free. That way, we know that whatever we add to the water itself is the root of the problem. And now that that's done, it's time to add the swabs to the vials. We went ahead and put numbers on the bags and the vials themselves, that way we can match them up later after we've cultured them. All right, the setup phase is finally coming to a close. All we're gonna need to do is tuck these things away for 48 hours. That's how long it takes to get a result. And look at the beautifully disgusting things we created. Just so you understand what's going on, a positive test will show as mostly yellow. A negative test will show as mostly red. If it is in fact positive, little gas bubbles will also form at the top. As you can see, there are many surprises here. In particular, take a look at number four, the porta potty toilet seat. As you can see, it's mostly red in color. It has some gas bubbles though, so it looks like it's a little bit unsure. Regardless, we are expecting this thing to go full on crazy. Number nine, however, the phone booth was the biggest surprise. It turned out to be what we find the most positive result out of everything. So next time, use a cell phone. Look, we're not trying to turn someone into a hypochondriac or bubble boy here, nothing like that. Just wanted to point out that bacteria is old and ancient. It's been here long before us, it'll be here long after. Some of it's good and some of it is very, very bad. But don't worry, you'll be back at the ATM tomorrow pushing buttons and withdrawing cash and bacteria. Just keep washing your hands. That's all you need to do to combat it. This is a multi-level project for us and we really hope you learned something from it. But now I gotta thank our fantastic sponsor this week, Squarespace. If you don't know a lot about Squarespace, they're one of the most easy and efficient ways to make your own website, portfolio, or even blog. It doesn't matter. Anything you want to create, they can help you get there. They've got tens of thousands of websites already, and across all of Squarespace, they're getting billions of hits each month. Besides all that, they've also got 24-7 support, so there's always going to be someone there to help you. You know what? Just go check it out for yourself. Head over to squarespace.com science. They're going to give you two weeks free. Take it for a test spin. See if you love it. Thank you everyone for tuning in this week, we really appreciate it. And if I could just leave you with one final thought. If it's between holding it and going into the damn porta potties, just f hold it.